Okay, so now we'll proceed with installation of uh, uh, Nexus 1000V VSM. Uh, before we proceed on that, uh, there are um, a few things that we need to take care of on uh, the ESXi host um, or uh, the host under the data center, right? Um, so one thing is we'll need to enable um, SSH because we'll be uh, needing that for installation of uh, um, the web modules. So we can go to um, Configuration, Security Profile, and uh, click on Properties. We can see the SSH option had stopped. Um, we go to Options, we say Select Start, and um, the ESX uh, has now enabled SSH. Right? As soon as you enable SSH, you'll see an uh, exclamatory icon on um, just beside the server um, of the ESXi host. And um, other thing that we need to take care in uh, the virtual switch, we switch um, in uh, under the niche booking section is we need to add um, uh, a port group to it. Now, um, in production environments, you can have um, three different board groups because there are three, three different um, uh, uh, NICs required for uh, um, the VSM module. One is for the management, one is for the packet data, and one is for the control traffic, right? So you can have those two separately configured, but at the same time, you can have them flow over all at the same uh, single board group, right? Um, we'll be doing, uh, just creating a VSM management port group. Uh, we won't be doing anything specific uh, for the packet and the control uh, data, but just for the management part, okay? And uh, we'll allow rest of the stuff to flow over, um, so flow over um, the regular VM network port group. So we click on add networking uh, over here. Virtual machine, and we use the same existing vSwitch zero, right? And if you see here, VM network two gets added. Now, in the next section, we are able to edit this name, and we name it to VSX hyphen MGMT, right? So we click on next. Uh, we let the VLAN to uh, none. We don't require it because uh, otherwise it will create problem because it's all under the same uh, uh, virtual host and we are using the all um, the virtualization uh, stuff everywhere. We don't need that. Uh, so we leave it to default, none, and uh, that's it. So uh, we have added the VSM management board group profile. Uh, now we go to deploy OVF template after selecting the uh, ESXi host. And there's a pre, um, there's already a Nexus 1000V uh, OVF file that I have selected, which is 5.2.1 release. Well, this one is the latest release, so we'll be seeing the latest uh, VSM and the VM module installation, okay? So um, we click on next. Uh, here we can see the details of the product and the version, um, what the resource that is going to use. Um, end user license agreement, we click on accept and then next. Um, we name it to uh, N1000V. Remember this name, this, um, once we create a SVS connection um, from the VSM module towards the vCenter server, this is the name that will be used um, to automatically create uh, the DVS, the distributed virtual switch on the VMware um, uh, ESXi host, right, under the networking section. Uh, by default, we don't have that created, but after we establish the SCS connection, um, we'll be able to see that automatically get configured, right? So we name it 1000 N1000V. We have a primary installer Right, um, so we select Nexus 1000V installer. If we are um, installing HF feature, we can use the Nexus 1000V secondary uh, installer as well. But here, we'll be just using Nexus 1000V installer. 
Uh, we'll be using thin provisioning because it uses less uh, disk space and it increases as it goes. So uh, we go with thin provisioning. And uh, over here, as I was talking about, it requires three uh, destination networks, one control, packet, and the management. For the management, we have already created um, um, a network, right? Wow. I will see here. So yeah, I mean uh, now it's it's showing the VSM MGMT network. Uh, it was just a glitch uh, due to which it was we were not able to see it. So uh, VSM MGMT. Uh, if you have created separate port groups for uh, the control and packet, you can select them, but it's not required because we haven't created any separate for them. So we just click on next. Uh, we have the properties, so uh, we have an option to configure um, the domain ID and the password, management password, management IP. Uh, we can do it from here, and we can also do it manually. Uh, as simple step, uh, let's try to do from this um, um, template itself. Um, here, we set the domain ID as 100. It's the VSM domain ID and nothing uh, specific. We again set uh, the password uh, for the management access, right? Over here, we give the same subnet IP as that of uh, the management that we have been using. So 192.168.244 subnet. So what we can do is we can assign it an IP of 192.168.244. Um, 161 is used by vCenter. 160 is used by v, uh, ESXi host. So we can use 165. Right, um, the subnet mask is 255, 255, 255, and the gateway is the same as the default gateway, uh, 244.2, right? Uh, we click on next, and um, that's it. So it is now going to deploy the, um, the obvious template, and then we can boot it up. And it's um, going to be done in just a few seconds. All right, so it's um, the OVS template is deployed. Now we can power on the Nexus 1000B VSM module. So it's now powering up. Um, it should have SSH enabled by default. Uh, you can open a console from here um, and access the window, uh, but you can also SSH into it um, from your external terminal client. So we have our terminal client. Let me edit the configuration in the meanwhile. Uh, it's just... Um, 65, admin, it's already configured, and apply. Okay. So we'll allow it to boot up, and um, then we'll try to connect it. And ESXi configuration is 160, and the same login details. Uh, it takes a um, few minutes to um, uh, load. Uh, once it's loaded, then it will execute the pre-script that we configured or set on that window um, while installing the template. So now if you see, uh, it has now booted up and we can log in using the user admin and whatever the password that we have set on that window. And we are now able to see the Nexus 1000 switch. Right, so let's try to um, access it from um, here. 
right? So we are able to access it. Uh, we don't need this console window anymore. So if you do show module, right, we are able to see the VSM module installed, mm -hmm. right? Show version. So we are running FIDO 2.1 SU3. Um, we have a core plugin, um, right? So now what we can do is we can um, change the host name. So we set it to an N1000V, right? And um, that's it. So uh, we are done with the basic configuration of the VSM modules, right? So the next step that we'll be seeing um, is We'll be configuring uh, for a couple of port groups uh, for establishing a connection with the vCenter server. Okay.